I've seen too much people leave school and don't have anything to show for it. Like people say, oh, where's your music? Where's footage of you playing? And you don't have anything to show for it. And then it just makes you look like you haven't been doing anything. So you waste four years of your life doing all that school work. And at the end of it, you have nothing to show for it. So why not? Work on an album. Plus, I had songs just sitting there for years. So, I was like, why not? No, I did it, but that wasn't my passion. I used to do, I used to prefer track and feel. So I focused more on track and feel. And I know when I got to middle school, like after Ivan, I started to play, pay more attention to music and put down track and feel. And um, in high school, I played the rumpet, and I played I played in church. I, I never got to play keyboard in church. I always played drums or bass. As a result, I um I learned to I learned more about how the rhythm section worked, and because I was playing keys already, I knew the function of keyboard. Then I learned the function of bass and drums. So looking back, now it has helped me to be a better arranger and songwriter because I understand the function of each instrument naturally. I got involved in this project yeah, via Benny and he's my cousin. I'm Christoph Smith. I'm the drummer. So you're saying that when you got your bass, the neck was bent? There was work. No, I think it was the heat. I left it in the car, Benio's car, yeah, for about three hours in the boiling sun. That's the life I want to live. Wake up every day, go to the studio, play music. What more can a musician ask for? Second day on the job. Really? Go ahead. Guys, you still recording? Basically, just drop on it, do slide it in. 
This is recording live. We can do that. Stick, stick to the rules. Here we go. Watch the intro. I think it's a little, um, kind of fast. Lay it back a little bit more. There we go. Guys, it's the reason you rehearsed yesterday, now, so that we could come in, do one or two run through, and then take. We're not near it yet. So, we need to straighten up. Here we go. notes after the run then drum it you and bass might basically got, got tighten up on that we we'll lock that down together tight So how do you view and Mr. Greg was like you guys don't have it yet and he was basically telling you to stop and restart and stop and restart and stuff. It felt like I was in a studio. You never got frustrated or anything? No, like I don't get, I'm not frustrated because you know you have to get it right. Sometimes it's not right the first time so you have to do it again. That's right. So the second day we were practicing and like we should have had some songs ready. So the first song had an intro on it and we couldn't get the intro properly. So we went over and over and over and couldn't get it right. And then Mr. Greg just like clicked on the button, doop, back to the practice rooms and that was it. Okay guys, that's it. Let's go back to practice room. Practice room. 